Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, if you can't tell by the title, we are going to be playing with a new palette. Yes, um, we have the new iHot Revolution X Disney Mulan palette. Yes, um, this has recently launched. Well, not officially. It's not officially launched on the Revolution website. It is launched on the Super Drug website and as soon as I saw it on there, I was like, I need to get this. I need to get it. I have reviewed all of the other Disney Princess palettes from iHeart Revolution, so of course I need to get this to test this one out. So yeah, that's what we're going to be doing in today's video. Um, if you haven't seen any of my other videos where I um, review all the other Disney Princess palettes, I'll of course link a playlist at the end of this video so you guys can go and check that if you want to. I have done a lot of videos using the these palettes and yeah I'm excited to, to test out this little collection so yeah like I said it hasn't officially launched on the Revolution Beauty website yet I believe it will be launching some point this week they usually do a new release on like a Wednesday so it could be that it launches tomorrow and I'm not too sure when this video is going to go out it'll probably be out today which is Tuesday the what day are we? Tuesday the 5th? 4th. Tuesday the 4th of January. So yeah, they have launched a lot of Disney Princess palettes and this is the next one. I'm excited. Let's jump straight on into it. So on the Superdrug website, the only thing they had on there was the palette and they also had one of these. Now, if, you're, if you've had a couple of bits from the I Heart Revolution X Disney collections before, you'll think that this is going to be a highlighter. However, it isn't this is a setting powder so of course i will be ch testing this out and testing the palette out on the on the website on superdrug though it had like a picture of the palette the setting powder and then a lip gloss the lip gloss wasn't live on the website so i of course didn't purchase that um but i'm guessing it will all be released on the revolution beauty website at some point this week but yeah for today of course i'm just gonna be testing out the palette and the setting powder so let's just get straight on into it okay so the outer box of the palette looks like this this palette retails 15 pounds same as all that other um disney princess palettes of course you've got mulan in the middle i love the color of this packaging like it's just such a beautiful purple color like it's gorgeous um and yeah and then around the outside of her photo there is like little lanterns and then around the outside of the actual box, there's like lanterns, butterflies, it looks like a Chinese kind of like building, that kind of thing. And yeah, and on the back, it just has the list of ingredients and all that jazz. So yeah. And then for the rest, the actual palette just basically looks the same as the outer packaging. Same kind of layout. On the back, it doesn't have the list of ingredients, but it does have a little quote saying, live by honour. Um, so yeah, I literally love it. I, I love how all these look like books and I can stand them up and make them look like books. Super cute. And then when you open the palette up, you get the two sides. As always, there is a face, there's a face palette side. So it's got some blushes and got some highlighters, that kind of thing. And then on the other side, you get all of these eyeshadows. It's very colourful, this palette. Very colourful. There's a few pops of like pink and purples. There's like some ready tones, there's like greens, um, there's a couple of blue shades. Um, yeah, it looks really nice. Very nice selection of shades, I really like it. Um, the face shades look really nice, the blushes. The highlighters look very, like quite dark I would say. I'd probably say this is more for your like medium to deep kind of skin tones for the, for the highlighters and I would say but like for the blushers I would say you can kind of get away with I would say like light medium and deep probably maybe more light medium skin tones could get away with the blushes but yeah, the highlighters they're quite dark I would say so yeah okay so here's just a few of the shades that greeny shade is so pretty they all swatch they all seem to swatch quite well I like that silver shade too, that's really nice. There seems to be a lot more mattes, I think, in this palette, which is quite good. Because <laughs> in some of the others, there seems to be like loads of shimmers and not many mattes. So, yeah. 
So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to prime my lids and see you guys in and then we're going to jump into playing with the eyeshadows. So yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back quickly just to prime my lids and zoom you guys in. So jumping into the palette, I think I'm going to take the shade The Matchmaker first, which is this deep purple shade here. I'm just going to start to pack this shade on. So far quite a nice shade, packed on quite well. Now I don't know whether to go into the shade Crikey, which is this one, or into Flower. I don't really know, I'm feeling Flower you know. That shade's really nice though. Oh, I don't know. We'll take it, we'll go, we're gonna go into Flower, which is this pink, like hot pink shade here. And we'll just kinda like see what happens. I thought this pink was going to be a lot brighter than what it's like coming out as. It's coming out not as bright as what it looks in the pan. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into that first purple shade and just like pack a little bit more of that on. in hopes it'll kind of like blend together with the pink then I'm going to go back into the pink shade just so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead just go off camera and um, continue to like just blend these two together uh, I'm going to cut my crease and then we'll be back to pick a lid shade. So yeah, I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I'm back. I've quickly just cut my crease. Um, yeah, <laughs> quickly just cut my crease. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, after I've just finished doing this, I'm going to take the first purple shade that we use, the Matchmaker, the deeper one, and I'm going to start to pack this on the outer edge. Just so then it kind of like softens that like cut crease. And then I also want to take a tiny bit of crikey. Is it crikey? I've forgotten. I've actually forgotten this shade here. And I'm going to pop that shade just next to it. you will it's a nice shade that one really nice and then I'm gonna take I'm gonna take the shade gong which is this silver shade here and we're gonna use that as the lid shade just because I, really like I really like the look of it and I feel like there's not another shade in the palette that I would have wanted to use, like a shimmer shade. There is another shimmer I do want to go into which is that like white shade, it's like an inner corner moment. And then we'll go into the shade Emperor, which is this white 
shade here but i think i'm pretty sure it's got like a bit of a shimmer to it yeah like it looks like it's got like a tiny bit of like a sheen in it you can kind of see we might not be able to see properly i think that it's not i don't think that it's 100 percent like just a pure matte white shade so i'm gonna take that i'm gonna pop that on the inner corner no it's definitely got some sort of reflect in there I think it's meant to be like a matte. I think it's meant to be matte with like a tiny bit of shimmer in it, and I'll pop a little bit on the brow on the brow bone as well. Just a tiny bit. I like this eye look so far. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead just finish this eye off camera. I'm gonna do my base and everything, and then we're gonna come back. And of course, we've got the setting powder. We're playing with some of this, and then of course we have got the face shades. So we'll be playing with some of them as well. So. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead, do everything else off camera, and then I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I am back. I've done the majority of my makeup. So what we're going to do now is I am going to do my little lash line on camera with you guys. Um, but first, we will jump into the setting powder. Um, setting powder basically is the same packaging as like what the highlighters were in. Pretty much in like a kind of packaging that opens up that way like that same as what like all the other highlighters were in when they launched the individual highlighters so yeah this is what the packaging looks like it's just like a sweet, cute small little box again got Mew on it on it same kind of packaging as the palette whatnot and then when you open it up this is the shade on the inside so it is just like a white shade I'm guessing it's gonna be like a translucent shade it's so cute because it's got the outline of Mushu like stamped into the shades. Let me just... Oh, it is like a stark white. That's what it swatches like. My goodness. Oh, wow. Um, wow, okay. So I'm going to actually use this a little bit like underneath my eyes to almost like brighten a little bit. Um, I don't go in with like a pressed powder to like set my whole face. I use a, like a loose powder but i thought i could use it to like brighten my under eye maybe like brighten down the sides of my nose something like that so we're gonna do that with it so i'm just gonna go in with just a plain like brush like this oh it's very powdery so i'm literally just gonna like Oh wow, okay, so it definitely has brightened. The under eye area can, like compared to like this side, it looks a lot brighter. I'm gonna go a little bit down, like down here. quite like a silky powder like it feels really nice I'm not mad at that it's almost like like looking underneath my eye area it's got like a bit of like a sheen to it I'm not mad though I'm actually not mad I feel like it definitely has done a little bit more brightening under my eye area so I'm not mad at it it does feel really nice as well yeah I'm quite happy with that I quite like it okay so now moving back on to like my under eye area for like the shadows I really want to take this shade here which is called guardians it's just like a really pretty green shade I feel like it will just make the look pop a little bit more so that's kind of what I want to do so I'm gonna take that shade on a small brush I'm literally just going to pop it underneath. Following up a little bit on the on the lash line. Then I'm just going to take a small brush and like blend it out with itself if that kind of makes any sense. And I'm just going to go back into like the white shade in the palette, which is this one here. 
this one. I'm just going to pop some more of that on like the inner corner. Join it up to like the greeny shade. Yeah, I like that. Okay, let me just pop a little bit of mascara on. Okay, so now moving on to back into the palette for the blush and the highlighter shades. I'm going to swatch all the blusher shades and all the highlighter shades. Okay, so here's all the shades. We have the blushes here. They look quite light, honestly. And then the highlighter shades. As you can see, like that one's the lightest, but then the bottom two are quite, they're quite deep. It's kind of weird. It's almost like the blusher shades are more for like, like light to medium skin tones. But then it's like the highlighter shades are more for like medium to deep skin tones. So yeah, um, strange, but no, I'm not mad, not mad. So for the blusher shade, I think I'm going to go into Little But Lucky, which is this bright pink shade here. Ooh, I love a good blusher shade. Oh, it's very pale. It looks like it's got a bit of like a sheen to it. Like, can you see that? Oh. There is a lot of kick up with this blush shade. Like, a lot. And it's very glowy. I don't know whether I need to like go into like a different shade because this is like way too pale like a bit more I'd like a little bit of something more to be honest for, for myself personally like look how much kick up there is with that blush uh, I'm gonna take a little bit of warrior heart we'll go in with this we'll just kind of see what happens I guess Oh yeah, I think that shade's better. If you're like extremely pale, like if you're paler than me, um, basically I am F1 in all of the Revolution foundations, so I am like one of the pale, one of the pale girls. That shade is very, very light. If you don't like much blusher, then you'll probably like it, but. I like something that's going to give me a little bit of colour because I am so pale um, and I feel like if I don't have a bit of colour in my cheeks I look very ill so yeah. Now going to the highlighter side I think I'm going to go in with Guardian Dragon because that is like the palest shade which is this one here um, so yeah we're going to go in with that. I'm hoping it's not going to be too dark for me because when I swatched it, it did swatch a little bit darker. That's quite, it's quite a nice uh, highlighter. It's not too, it's not blinding um, at all more of just like a natural kind of glow which I'm not mad at I just I prefer a very glowy highlighter but it's still nice just for like a little bit of something so yeah I'm not I'm not mad not my favorite but I'm not mad it's still it's still nice it's still a nice formula um so yeah what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead I'm just gonna do my lip off camera because I don't really know what I'm gonna use um, but yeah, I'm gonna go, what? I'll go ahead, just do my lips, and then I'll be right back to kind of give you guys my final thoughts on the collection. So yeah, I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I am back. This is the finished look. What do you guys think? Please let me know what you think. I really like it. Um, so yeah, let's talk about the collection. Obviously I can't speak for the gloss, as I didn't, don't have it. Um, I'm guessing it's gonna be a gloss. That's what they usually do and they look like a gloss so yeah um so yeah let's talk about the rest of the collection so with the palette 
always think these are a great purchase because they have eyeshadows and then they have the face palette side as well um for me the eyeshadow is probably the staple in this palette i absolutely love the color story i think it is very colourful as usual, all of their Disney Prince parts have been quite colourful, quite bright. Um, I can say that they, the shadows perform all the same, I wouldn't say that any are different. Um, they all packed on really well, they all blended out really beautifully. Um, not a problem with any of the shadows in terms of blendability, pigmentation, anything like that. The like shimmer shade on my lid is beautiful, it's probably one of my favourite shades. Um, but yeah, I do really like this palette. I feel like there is quite a few different looks you can get out of it. Same with all the other Disney Princess palettes. And if you have them, you can like mix them up, mix and match, dip into like different palettes to create like a beautiful look. So yeah, I really like the eyeshadows in this side. And I also do appreciate how there's more mattes in this one than there have been in some of the previous ones. So yeah, I really do, really do recommend the eyeshadows in this palette. The face side. Personally, this one isn't my favourite in terms of the face, like, face shades, um, I guess. The highlighters, of course, I can't use two of the shades. I'd probably just use them as eyeshadows. Um, this shade, as a, as a highlighter, it's nice. It's not my favourite highlighter ever. Um, but yeah, it's still a nice formula. It still looks nice on the skin. Doesn't It hasn't emphasised any, like, any texture or anything. So yeah, I am not mad at that. Um, in terms of the blushes, I thought this shade was going to be a lot more pigmented, I guess. Maybe I'm saying that wrong. Um, it was just very pale, very, very pale. I mean, I'm pale, but I, like compared to like looking it in the pan, you'd think that it'd still kind of show up on my skin tone. Couldn't really see it that much. I would say it does. It definitely has a bit of a glow to it. So I do like that. And if you are a lot paler than me, then you'll be able to definitely get away with it. But yeah, for me, this shade, the one that I had to go into second time, I do like this shade. Again, it's quite light and I'm a bit confused because usually within their palettes, they kind of either cater to all skin tones or they'll give a blusher for each skin tone or they'll just give blushes for like um, paler skin tones that kind of thing but it, it feels like they, what they've done is just given like pale blusher shades and then like deeper highlighter shades I'm not too sure what's kind of gone on there however I'm not too bothered I definitely wouldn't use these two highlighter shades I'm just using my eyeshadows but yeah I would definitely think I definitely think that they have better like shades for me personally in some of their other Disney Princess palettes but yeah that's just my personal opinion I do definitely think still think they are good formula good quality that kind of thing so yeah and you're paying 15 pound and you get six face shades and then a whole bunch of eyeshadows so i'm not mad at that moving on to the setting powder i actually quite like this and i actually found that it definitely made my under eye area brighter when i first saw it i thought oh it's gonna be a highlighter because that's what they've done before no they've brought a setting powder i'm not mad at that um, what I, I definitely feel like it's great for brightening in underneath the eyes. I would say if you are of a deep complexion, you might not be able to get away with it because it is quite brightening and it's quite pigmented. Um, so it might just look like it might just give you more of just a white cast. If you are like a medium to deep skin tone, um, but yeah, that's down is down to you. That's your personal preference, whatever you like to go for. But if you are like of a pale skin tone and you're looking for like a white um, setting powder, this would definitely work. It definitely works. I would definitely feel like it's um, brightened my under eye area and I really quite like it. I'm definitely gonna continue to use this. Um, but yeah, so guys, that is it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed. Of course, if you did, please remember to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel as it really helped me out. Everything else that I'm wearing on my face, I'll of course link in the description box down below as well. And of course, if you do want to see another video with me using this palette, testing it out, doing a different look, please just let me know because of course I can do that for you guys. Um, or if you want to see any other videos using the other Disney Princess palettes from the collection, please just let me know as well. I have done quite a few videos. Like I said, I will link the playlist at the end of this video and I might link a couple of the other videos above. Um, but yeah, I really hope you enjoyed today's video guys. Um, and I guess I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!